Thanks for checking out this update video. So this is kind of what people have been waiting for. Actually, a few people have asked me, when are you doing your Shutter April update video? And I'm like, as soon as I get it. And literally, I just got it. And it's a huge one. As I predicted in the last Shutter update video, we're getting Joe Bob. Season 2 of The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs starting Friday, March, or I'm sorry, April 24th. Yes, and going for 10 weeks. It'll be every Friday starting on April 24th, and it'll be the double feature like before. So celebrate. April's going to be awesome, especially if we're all still shutting our, shutting our houses pretty much. Or, well, some of us choose to just do that anyway, which that's kind of my favorite thing to do. It's kind of weird. So anyway, yes, Joe Bob Briggs happening. Um, this is going to be a good month, April. There's a bunch of stuff to go through. And then at the very end of this, I will let you know right before I do it, but I'm going to give... Um, some information on some of the movie reviews that I'm going to be doing coming up that I've already recorded and have scheduled to go up. It's not all of them. There will be more. So let's talk about the Shutter stuff first. So first things first, One, um, actually I'll get to that one. But anyway, I talked about the Joe Bob Briggs. That's the biggest one to be excited about. 9 p.m. is when that show always starts. It is a live one. Oh, the other big thing is if you're watching this and you don't already have Shutter, you can get a 3 30 a free 30 day trial with the code shut in all one word shut in so 30 days free give it a shot i'm sure you'll sign up after that because it's not expensive or anything and it's worth it so they're also going to be premiering their show cursed films now that starts on april 2nd which is next thursday um i have seen the first two episodes of cursed films I have a review, my overall spoiler-free review of those first two episodes coming out this Thursday, the 26th of March, um, because that's when I'm able to, the soonest I'm able to put it up. But I will say right now, I recommend, so make sure you watch it. Now, here's the information they have on it. Cursed Films is a five-part documentary series from writer-director Jay Cheel, who does a great job. Exploring the myths and legends behind some of Hollywood's notoriously cursed horror film productions. From plane accidents and bombings during the making of The Omen, to the rumored use of real human skeletons on the set of Poltergeist, these stories are legendary, but what's real and what's myth? So they have a bunch of, like, experts in it and blah, 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 blah. Check out my review in two days. Now, um, these are the episodes they're going to be putting up on April... <coughs> excuse me on april 2nd it's the first one it is for the exorcist on april 9th it's the second one for the poltergeist and the third one for the omen and then on april 16th they're putting up the fourth and fifth episodes for the crow as well as twilight zone the movie so there you go definitely worth it like i said check it out then they are also going to be putting up a season two of the wolf creek show i've actually not watched season one I probably should. I think that's one that I just, I wanted to, and then I forgot about it, so it's just kind of gotten away from me, so I need to go do that, but um, in the second season of the hit horror series, a group of international terror, uh, terrorists, tourists, very different, embark on the outback adventure of a lifetime, but a chance encounter with trigger-happy pig hunter Mick Taylor sets them on a journey none of them could have imagined. Yeah, I gotta catch up on the first one. And then they have an original movie, which we'll see how that goes. Um, mixed bag with their original movies. Uh, 0, 0.0 megahertz. Members of a paranormal ex exploration club go to an abandoned house in the remote small town to prove the existence of a ghost using radio frequency based technology. Unfortunately, the young students unwittingly become the ghost's host. So, yeah. It looks like it may be subtitled. Just saying. Just so if, if that's a thing for people, then they're going to be uh, having some featured collections available. Uh, they're going to have a Friday the 13th collection, which goes up on the very first of April. So as soon as we hit April, we're hitting the ground running. And that first collection is going to be comprised of Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th, part two, part three, part four, a final. OK, this is how they have it broken down. Friday the 13th, part two, part three, the final chapter, a new beginning, part six, Jason lives, part seven, the new blood, part eight, Jason takes Manhattan, then Crystal Lake Memories, the complete history of Friday the 13th. I've seen that. It's a good documentary, and I've seen all the Friday the 13ths also. 
worth it. And then Smoke and Mirrors, the story of Tom Savini, which I have a review of on the channel, and it's definitely worth it. Great documentary about Savini. And then To Hell and Back, the Kane Hodder story, which is a documentary about Kane Hodder. Definitely want to check that out. I love horror documentaries. I think Kane Hodder is a very interesting person. So that, that will be a good one. And then, uh, okay, so then they're going to have a halfway to Halloween hotline because April is halfway to Halloween, and that's part of the reason that The Last Drive-In is coming out at that point. So they're going to be doing a hotline every Friday in April from 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can call and speak to Samuel Zimmerman, their head curator at Shudder, and he will give you recommendations for what's on Shudder based off what you like, which I think is super, super cool. It doesn't have a phone number on here or anything. You'll just have to look that up when it comes up. So, other movies for April hitting. The Exorcist is going up April 1st. Um, I don't need to read the description of The Exorcist because if you don't know what that is, shame on you. You should have already seen it. But if you haven't, you can see it on Shutter April 1st. Then we have the cursed film, the other blah, blah, blah. April 6th, Haunters, The Art of the Scare. I've seen this documentary. It's a fun one for sure. Explore the rise of terror as entertainment by going behind the screams and into the lives of Char Mayer, legendary scare actor, Donald Jolson, a traditional boo scare maze designer, and the infamous Ruck, Ruff McCamey as he creates the most controversial full contact haunt of all time in this documentary about how family-friendly haunted houses for Halloween have spawned a growing subculture of extreme horror simulation. Definitely worth watching. Check it out. Tales of Halloween is also hitting April 6th. Uh, this, this critically acclaimed anthology weaves together 10 chilling tales from top horror directors featuring Barry Bostwick, Lynn Shea, John Savage, Adrian Barbeau, Joe Dante, Barbara Crampton, Pat Healy, Caroline Williams, Christina Klebe, Alex Esso, and Pollyanna McIntosh, and more. So yeah. Uh, then on April 13th, Mike Flanagan's first film, Absentia, which I'm not seen yet and I definitely want to because I'm a Flanagan fan. I'm a fan again. No, that was terrible. Forget I said that. As Tr <laughs> Trisha prepares to declare Daniel illegally dead, uh, sorry, Jesus, what is wrong today? <laughs> As Trisha prepares to declare Daniel legally dead, she encounters a mysterious tunnel and a terrified man inside. Soon after, Daniel returns, shaken and bloodied and scared to death of the tunnel. What happened and what secrets does the tunnel hold? Sounds really cool. I've been wanting to see this, like I said, I'm a Mike Flanagan fan, so I will be checking that one out. Might even do a review, I don't know. Elvira, Mistress, Mistress of the Dark, also coming April 13th. Um... Upon arriving in a small town where she has inherited a rundown mansion, the famous horror hostess must battle her evil uncle and townspeople who want her burned at the stake. I've not seen this film yet. I probably will check it out because it's hitting Shudder. Then also on the 13th, We Are What We Are. I also want to check out this. The Parkers seem to be a wholesome family, but when tragedy strikes and sisters Iris and Rose are forced to assume terrifying responsibilities, the local authorities begin to uncover clues to a horrible truth that the Parkers have hidden for years. Sounds interesting. This one's been on my list of films to check out, so I will be checking that out. Then April 20th, we have the film Extremity. Allison is an emotionally troubled young woman who believes that confronting her past trauma might be a means of exercising her demons. She signs up for a trip to perdition, an exclusive haunt that promises absolute, unadulterated terror, but the most frightening thing on display will prove to be Allison's own twisted psyche. I might check that one out. Sounds interesting. Voice from the Stone, also the 20th. Uh, a haunting thriller set at an isolated castle in 1950s Tuscany. Oh, okay. Verena is a determined young nurse who is hired to help the mute young heir within. But the more she observes him, the more Verena becomes convinced... He, he, uh, he has fallen under the spell of a powerful and otherworldly persona trapped in the villa's stone walls, one that seems to be rapidly intertwining with her own. Interesting. That sounds interesting. Then, April 27th, The Siren. Tom rents a cabin on a secluded lake marked by a local legend of a lovelorn spirit who haunts the surrounding woods and drowns anyone she encounters. Drawn to her immediately, Tom knows he has found his soulmate in the seemingly human Nina, 
who must battle to repress her demonic instincts when she feels the same towards him. That could be that could be worth it. That sounds kind of interesting. And then also on the 27th is to Helen back the Kane Hodder story. Um, overcoming a dehumanizing childhood in a near-death burn accident, Hodder worked his way up through Hollywood, leading to his ultimate rise as Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th series. After decades of watching Kane Hodder on screen, get ready to meet the man behind the mask in a gut-wrenching but inspiring story about one of cinema's most vicious monsters. I'm in. That sounds good. Very, very cool. Obviously, very exciting stuff coming for Shudder in April. I'm psyched. Put some comments down there. Are you psyched? Now, let me give people a little bit of a rundown of what I can tell you for sure is coming for, for from me this month. Uh, I am working on a review for the HBO show The Outsider. That will be done. Um, I will be putting up a review for John Carpenter's The Fog. I will be putting up a review for an independent film called Tales from Six Feet Under. Uh, the filmmaker reached out to me for that one. I will hopefully be putting up a review for the Netflix show Lock and Key. Um, I am putting up a review for John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness. I am also having a weekend where I'm putting up reviews for The Shining, and then the next day is Doctor Sleep. So that's all I have to tell you at the moment. Obviously, I'm going to be doing more because I'm doing at least two per weekend. So there we go. If you have some ideas about ones you definitely want to see me do, especially if they're on Shutter, put it in the comments. Let's also just geek out about what's coming in April, especially the last drive-in. Yeah. Do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. keeps me motivated. If you're already subscribed, make sure you've hit that notification bell so you know when videos are going up. And also when I do live streams, because that's going to be a thing more often. And then if you've already also subscribed, go ahead and give me a thumbs up to let me know you're still watching. But thanks everyone for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.